Alright guys, this is all the trains that I got in throughout this week here. Most of the trains in this video will have G4 locomotives, so prepare to hear some great K5HL horns. The first train was unplanned. The lights started up right in front of us. So I was able to film this southbound intermodal train. This is at the trans Highway crossing near Ardney in Brecken, where we saw CN-112 that goes from Vancouver to Brampton. Last week's 112 was basically led by two G4 locomotives, and that is 3866 with a great sounding K5HL horn and 3029 for the rear DPU. Last week's 112 has 168 intermodal cars. A few days later, we went to George's trains. Some rail fans also came along, but however, I couldn't film with them because this was the only train I saw at George's. The people who came to George's is the conductor, the North York rail fan, Hames Jeff, Colin YT1, and that Canadian rail fan. But the train came before all the rail fans showed up, except for the conductor, who was already there. But however, he already got in two trains before I showed up. And that was CM105 and B730. But before this train came, the conductor actually had to hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Okay, I'm not doing that. Thanks for doing that, Michael, as usual. <laughs> Anyways, the train that I saw was CM185. That goes from Montreal to Prince Rubik, BC. Yesterday's 185 was basically led by two typical g and that is 3173 with an epic K5 HL horn and 3139. Wait Tyler, that's actually not the first time you saw 3139. Oh really? Then where did I see it? You actually saw it at George's again. Almost two months ago we went in 3 day 306. Oh yeah, I did remember that. Anyways, yesterday's 185 has 157 intermodal cars. Alright, here comes our first train.
and there goes Fitz, westbound in the motor train you can see here. After the train went by, I didn't see anything else because I was told that there wasn't any trains on the York Sub for a long time. But as soon as I left, there was a BC Rail on 306, which sucks. But don't worry, I saw more trains right, after tonight this. Tonight we are back at Albert Street, and I heard from the conductor that there's going to be a veterans unit tonight. So we came to Albert Street just to film this, since we always wanted to hear it. We are hearing a K5HL horn right now. Will it be that one? We are about to find out. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't the veterans unit. But I did see a train which I never seen before. And this was also a rare train that you don't see every day. It was an empty southbound center beam train. Which I didn't know what was the ID. And leading this train is basically two more G4 locomotives. And that is 3222 with a 100 year anniversary sticker and a great sounding K5HL horn. That horn echoed through the bushes as well. And 3831 for the DPU. And this train has 81 cars before the DPU and 29 cars after the DPU. In total, this train has 110 center beam cars. And also, if you look on the bottom right of the screen, once the train has gone through a crossing, you will see another shot. My dad decided to film this train on this bridge since he wanted to see a military unit. But however, like I said, it didn't came. So a huge thank you to my dad for filming on the bridge for me.
and there it goes. Well, that was the train I was looking for because that didn't have a military locomotive. But at least I got it now 100 year anniversary sticker locomotive leading, so yeah. And this was a train I never seen before. All of these cars here. I don't know what they were doing and I'm surprised there was a and I'm surprised there was a DPU as well in this train. So yeah, even though I didn't get the military unit, unit I'm glad I was able to get a train that I haven't saw before, so yeah. Well, that's going to be it as usual. Well, not long after that train went by, we have another southbound coming right behind it. It has a K58 drill horn, so hopefully that will be the military unit. Like the first train? This wasn't the military unit. You know what? I think the conductor trained well does. Yep, he did actually, but only for tonight. Anyways, the train that I saw was a southbound in the motor train. My gas bubble ID is CN112 once again. That goes from Vancouver to Brampton. Last night's 112 was led by Moji for locomotives. And they are 3803 with another awesome K5HL horn and 3223 with a 100 year anniversary sticker again for the real DPU. Last night's 112 has 156 intermodal cars. I see it.
and there goes the southbound in the motor train. Well, that wasn't the right train again, but at least I got another 100 year anniversary sticker on another G for locomotive. But this time for the real DPU. The next day, we went to Pine Orchard, and this is what I saw there. All right, right now, the freeway is close. So we should hear the defect detector at mile 31. It's five miles away. So yeah, since it's on mile 35. Uh, yes, that is all correct, uh, thank you. I can see it. DM detector, Bala, 3-1. No alarm. Temperature, 2-1. C, total, axle, 7-9. Speed, 5-3. All right, very well. It just cleared Slater's Road, which is mile 31. So it, until then, I'm just going to pause over now. Now, the next train we saw was VR1 that goes from Toronto to Vancouver. The North York Rail fan was actually on the Canadian today. He was heading to Sudbury. Anyways, today's VR1 was led by 3 at 40 pHs. And that is 6432 with an epic horn. 6453 and 6457. Today, VR1 has 17 passenger cars and it was going into the Pine Orchard siding. It was going into the Pine Orchard siding because it was going to have a meet with CN102, which we will see after. Alright, here it comes. There goes. Turning on to the passing line to have a meet with a southbound. Wow. Wow, that was good. And yes, the North York Griffin is on this train. If you haven't seen him waving, so yeah. Anyway, there it goes, you can see. Heading up north. 
it's about to stop here, so yeah. Well, until the southbound comes, I'm just gonna pause it for now. Well, it's starting to move a little bit, you can see here. I have no idea why, I guess it's pulling ahead. It was starting to move because it was going to the other end of a siding. So yeah. Alright, here comes our southbound in the motor train. This is going to be CN102. So yeah. The next train we saw was CN102. That goes from Rubberbanks, BC to Brampton. Again? again? Yes, again. No, not like last time. Last time was really epic. Anyways, today's 102 was led by, say it, guys. Mergifos! And that is 3252 with another epic K5 HL horn. And 2833 for a real DPU. Today, 102 has 174 in the model cars.
Oh, and there goes one or two you can see here. The next and final train in this Pine Orchard trip was CN 101 that goes from Toronto to Winnipeg. Today, 101 doesn't have any G4 locomotives, surprisingly. Instead, it has an SD70M2, an SD70Fi-Fi, and a Dash 9 locomotive. And that is 8810, with another epic K5 LLA horn, 5734, and for the third time on this channel, I saw another locomotive which I recently saw, and that is 2707, and that is an IC unit, and it has its famous K5 LA horn. This time it was not leading, it was the rear DPU on this train. Today, 101 has 166 intermodal cars. Alright, here comes 101. Seven for the real DPU? No way! That was epic! 
Trendy 707 is on this train. This is my third time I saw Trendy 707. The first time I saw it was at Leech Road, and the second time was at Grimmerly Ghost Station. It has a K5 LA. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Just gonna pause it for now. I must say, my reaction to 2707 again was pretty priceless. Do you want to hear it again? No! No, 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 no! 2707 from a real DPU? Yep, that sounds like me. But what if I did this? <laughs> Now that's more like it. Anyways, we saw one more train that evening. This is what I saw. Alrighty, right now we are back at Sefer Road in Sefer, and we have CM 106 heading our way. 106 is really special because it has a veterans unit, and that is CN 3015. And how do you know I hear about this? Well, the King Doctors told me about it. He saw it departing Brecken because it had four meets with some other trains. Lake Fafia Rail, 101, 303, and 105. The North York Griffin also saw it at Brecken too when he was on the Canadian. He's taken the Canadian to Sudbury, so yeah. Thanks to the conductor and the North York Griffin for letting me know about this train. The final train in this video was the best one. It was CM 106 that goes from Winnipeg to Montreal. Today's 106 was led by something really special. They are both GFOs, but however, one of them, which was leading, had something special on it. And that is a veterans unit that used to be a regular GFO locomotive, until it was repainted last October. The numbers of the locomotives are 3015, which is a veterans unit with a really epic K5HL horn, and 3264 for the rear DPU. Today, 106 has... what is the number again? Okay, 168 in the motor cars. It was also flying through Sefer. And also, I'm dying to get one of the veterans unit one day. I've been trying to see one for ages now, ever since they released them. Yep, there it is. I'm moving over here. To my baby. Hold clear at mile uh, 45 on the ballot.
and there goes 106. Well, that was epic. It just went through a Yorkdom line. I have a defect detector, so yeah. I'm not sure if that camera could pick it up because the intermodal train was loud, so yeah. But I heard the defect detector, but it was cutting out. Here's 106 again, but this time it was shot at Albert Street by my mom. So huge thank you to my mom for filming this train at Albert Street for me once again. There's something I need to do before we could end this video. Now that's more like it. Anyway, let's do the ending right now.
Whoa, that was a really great way of an week for me, that's for sure. Despite I saw a lot of unplanned trains during the week and even went to 14th Avenue yesterday, just only one train, that train definitely made it up. Same with 101 and the Canadian as well. We definitely had a great few days of seeing trains because of, like I said, I did a lot of rare things this weekend. Just to make up for yesterday's failed trip to 14th Avenue, so yeah. But yeah, that was really epic. I'm just really happy that I finally saw 3015 leading. Like, it's been a long... I've been trying to get that locomotive for a long time now. And I'm glad that I was able to film it at Sefer Road in Sefer just to see 3015, the veterans unit. I'm just really happy about that for sure. Hopefully next week's trip to the tracks will be much better because I... because it's not going to be any more veterans unit, I guess, unless it's coming back. I know it's going to Montreal because... 106 is a York sub train, so basically, so basically it goes past George's trains and up Riso, into Riso Road, and it goes on to the Kingston sub as well. So yeah, I'm glad I was able to get a veterans unit. I'm just happy with myself. Same with 2707, I got that as well. Well, that's going to be it. That's going to be this really great Epic Rare Fan video. Like, I'm glad I was able to do this epic rail fan video today for you all. I'm not going to see any more trains because I just came down to see the veterans unit. So, yeah. Stay tuned for next week for another rail fan video like this one. I just heard 106 clear to Pine Orchard. So, it's probably going through Pine Orchard right now. So, yeah. Well, that's going to be it. That's basically all the trains I saw for this week. I really hope you enjoyed them as much as I did, so yeah, so yeah. Well, I'm going to call it a video because this is going to be the only train I'm going to be seeing, seeing so yeah. Well, this is Tyler Lim at Sephir Road in Sephir, signing out as usual. Well, I will see you guys in the next Rail Fan video, which will be next weekend. Peace out, and I will see you guys later. Hey, hey, remember to subscribe to my channel and let no know where I've been. So thank you for the description. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.